Mai kako o ke ia o loke a i loko o ke ia vikio e ho o maa maa ho kako i na ano a anos. We're gonna ho o maa maa ho, we're gonna review the a anos, which are stative verbs. And what I'm gonna try to do in these videos is in every video I'm gonna isolate one pattern uh, to make it easier for you to start visualizing all these different patterns that you're learning. Um, because patterns in languages creates the structure by which you formulate sentences that uh, will allow you to formulate answers and create talks and have conversations with people. So it all begins with these patterns because when you start plugging these patterns in together, that's when you can create your sentences that can lead on to conversing conversations and language. So we're going to cover stative verbs today. Um, statives are the ones when we say it's like pigeon. Okay, so if you hear us say state of verb, I want you to think, oh, that's the pigeon one. State of verb is you say nui kahale, big, the house. Uh, state of verb is a description of something. And in English, we oftentimes have to switch the thinking in order to get it to, uh, to make it easy for us to translate it into the state of verb. So for instance, um, let's see here. The car is fast. The car is fast. If you think about the car is fast, are you able to change that into a state of verb right here in English? How would you change it into pigeon from English, from the car is fast? You would then change it into fast the car. What about the book is interesting? Interesting the book. Okay, I'm gonna give you some and I'm gonna let you answer. What about the clothes are clean? Clean the clothes. What about the shoes are small? The bag is heavy. The cat is cute. The fish is delicious. The kids are rascal. Rascal the kids. The heavens is beautiful. Beautiful the heavens. Today is hot. Hot today. So when you're trying to say something in English and you're like, okay, let me see if I can say it in Hawaiian. You want, if you're saying that something is in a certain state, then you can probably turn it into a state of verb. Okay, so let's say um, you want to create an answer for yourself and the answer is God is good. Is that a state of verb? Yeah. How would you turn that around? You would say good God. So that's what a stative verb is. So if Lauren teaches and he says, okay, we're going to cover a'anos today. In a'ano is a state of verb. A state of verb is big the house read the car and then really at that point all you're gonna do is almost literally translate it if you can turn it into the pigeon thinking um instead of the car is red if you're able to switch it into pigeon which is read the car then you can go ula ula ke ka'a and the one thing to keep in mind about state of verbs is that there's no ami there so you're not going ula ula i ke ka'a it's just ula ula the adjective the a'ano ke ka'a the ka'i, which is the ke, and the ka'a, which is the memea. The ka'a is a person, place, or thing. And there is always a ka'i next to a memea. A ka'i will always precede a memea. So in this case, ho read the car. Um, maybe somebody would say, He haka vai ho'olu'u o kona ka'a. He haka vai ho'olu'u o kona ka'a. Ask it to you again. He haka vai ho'olu'u o kona ka'a. What's the color of her car? Oh, ula ula kona ka'a. Or ula ula ke ka'a. Read the car. Ula ula kona ka'a. Read her car. So if you wanted to answer, if somebody asks you, Oh, o vai ka, o, o, you know, um, he aka vai ho olu o ko ka'a. If I were to ask you, let's try this right now. Ready? I'm going to ask you, mako lalo hawaii, what color is your car? And let's see if you can answer me. He aka vai ho olu o ko ka'a. If your car is blue, you would say polu ke ka'a or polu ko ka'a. I call it my ko ka'a. Polu ko ka'a. Polu ko ka'a. So let me try to ask you that again. He haka vai ho'lu o ko ka'a. Did you answer? I'll give you one more chance. He haka vai ho'lu o ko ka'a. Ke o ke o ko ka'a. That's what I would say, because my car is white. So keo 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 ko ka'a or keo keo ke ka'a. In that in that case, ko could be the ka'i or ke ka'a could be the ka'i. Ke could be the ka'i. But there always has to be that ka'i 
caught you before that. Okay, so actually, since I'm doing this video, let's go through some of these things together. Um, so fast the car. Viki viki ke ka'a. Fast the car. Viki viki ke ka'a. Say it with me. Viki viki ke ka'a. Again, viki viki ke ka'a. Now I'm going to ask you, eh, pehea ke ka'a. Did you answer viki viki ke ka'a? Let's do it again. Eh, pehea ke ka'a. Viki viki ke ka'a. Next one. The book is interesting. So let me ask you, um, how's the book? And let's see if you can answer me. Pehea kapuke. Pehea kapuke. Did you answer me? Interesting the book? Do you know how to say interesting the book? If you don't, then you need to expand your vocabulary. Go look up the word interesting. Pause it. Go look up the word book. Pause. You can go look it up. Hoi hoi kapuke. Hoi hoi kapuke. The book is interesting. Hoi hoi kapuke. Bala mai. Hoi hoi kapuke. Hoi hoi kapuke. Hoi hoi kapuke. Now I'm going to ask you one more time. Pehea kapuke. And you can answer me. Hoi hoi kapuke. Ma kau kau. I. Pehea kapuke. Hoi hoi kapuke. Mai ka iloa. Okay. Small the shoes. Small the shoes. How would you say small the shoes, mako alelo hawaii, in a stative verb pattern? Small? Say it with me, li'i li'i. Shoes? Do you know how to sh say shoes in Hawaiian? Okay, then you need to add this onto your vocabulary list because as you learn your language, your vocabulary list will grow. Ke kama'a. Ke kama'a. Ke kama'a. Where's the ka'i? If I tell you ke kama'a, where do you think the ka'i is? If you said K, you are correct. The ka is K, and kama'a is shoes. It's the memea. Memea is person, place, or thing. And in this uh, state of verb, the shoes is the thing. K, the ka i, kama'a, the shoes. Say it with me. Ke kama'a. Vala'o mai. Ke kama'a. Ke kama'a. Ke kama'a. Pehea ke kama'a? Did you say it? Li'i ke kama'a. Valao mai? Li'i li'i ke kama'a. Li'i li'i ke kama'a. Valao mai? Li'i li'i ke kama'a. Say it louder. Li'i li'i ke kama'a. Hana ho? Li'i li'i ke kama'a. Li'i li'i ke kama'a. Li'i li'i ke kama'a. Mai ka iloa. Next. Heavy the bag. The bag is heavy. In English, it's the bag is heavy. If you switch it around to pigeon, you'll say, Oh, heavy the bag. And mako lelo hawaii, you will say, Did you get it? Do you know how to say the word heavy mako lelo hawaii? If you didn't, you need to add this onto your vocabulary. Continue to add all of these things onto a list so you can grow your vocabulary. The word for heavy is kaumaha, which is also the word for sad. Kaumaha, heavy kaumaha. And bag. Do you know how to say bag? What is the word for bag? I'll give you a second. Say it to me. Did you say eke? Eke. Kaumaha means heavy. Eke is bag. So what are we missing? We're missing the kai. So with eke, it is ke eke. Ke eke. Ke eke. Kaumaha ke ke eke. Kaumaha ke eke. Hanaho. Kaumaha ke eke. Kaumaha ke eke. Kaumaha ke eke. Three times we said it. Let's do it again. Three more times. I'm going to ask you and you answer me. We'll do it three times. E pehea ke eke. Kaumaha ke eke. Kaumaha ke eke. Okay, Hanaho, we'll do another one. Oh, cute the cat. Cute the cat. Do you know the word for cute? If you don't know the word for cute, please continue to add this onto your vocabulary. Add it onto a list that you look over every night so you can re-look over your vocab so we can talk stories as your vocabulary grows. Cute the cat. Now I'm going to ask you, Eh, pehea kapopoki. Did you say kyuke kapopoki? If you said kyuke kapopoki, then you are correct. Kyuke kapopoki. The popoki is cute. Say it with me. Kyuke kapopoki. 
Kyuke kapopoki. Kyuke kapopoki. I'm going to ask you and you can answer me. E pehe kapopoki. Kyuke kapopoki. Next, let's say delicious the fish. Do you know how to say delicious in Hawaiian? Of course you do. Even if you think you don't know how to say it, you know how to say it. Ono. 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 And how do you say fish in Hawaiian? Give you a second. Pehea e olelo ai fish makolelo hawaii. Did you say ia? 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 That's fish. So how would you say delicious the fish? Because ia needs a kai. Because every mimea, person, place, or thing, needs a kai in front of it. So ia is the mimea, but it needs a kai before it. And the kai for ia is kaia. Kaia. The fish. Kaia. Kaia. So I will ask you, remember, your fish is delicious. So let me ask you the question and let's see if you can answer me. Pehea kaia. Did you say ono kaia? If you did, right on. You just told me the fish is delicious. So I will ask you again. Pehea kaia. Ono kaia. Did you say that? Let's say it together. Ono kaia. Ono kaia. Vala mai. Ono kaia. Ono kaia. Ono kaia. Now you say it. Good job. We just covered stative verbs. Aanos. So when Lauren comes into class and he says, okay, guys, we're going to go over aanos. Don't go, oh, oh, what is an aano? Like it's right here. It is a stative verb when you say something is something. And it's always great for you to have some sentences like down that you know is connected to an aano. So if you want to say nui kahale, like you hear aano, state of verb, you go back. Okay, what's my state of verb sentence that I always come to? Oh, nui kahale, big the house. And then it's just a matter of plugging different words in in different places. You can switch out the aano, you can switch out the kai, and you can switch out the memea. You can switch out the big to small, to red, to funny, to happy, to fast, to slow, to smart. You can switch this out to any descriptive. You can switch the kai out from ka to ke kahi for a to ke la that. Kea this ke kahi a you can switch this out and then you can switch out the meme a um, from house to car to shoes to fish to food to Bible to words to anything that is a person place or thing here.